Hey YouTube, um, got a new uh, addition to a little project, something to try out new and overall uh, see if it's worthwhile. So this is the Dell Series Compellent SC8000, SC stands for storage controller. Um, this has no drives at all. Um, there, I'm doing this video because I bought this, I did not find any reviews on it. I was like, might as well just take the hit for it, get it, and try to install it. So I'm going to do a review for anyone that's going to need this for the future. Um, so yeah, let's get started. You got your V flash for your iDRAC, USB ports, VGA. It's the same type of uh, display model, just a newer one. Same as the R720 series, 730. Um, as this is not really a a regular server you don't have any drives on here um, but yeah, I'll go into depth and show you guys what this is so this has two six core Xeon E5's I think they I can't remember the exact model but, um, we have 64 gigs of DDR3 memory, 1333 megahertz. Um, right now, I finally got this working, but this is running FreeNAS. I have got rid of the Dell Compellent software, which is almost $50,000 to renew, and I was like, there's not going to do that. So, FreeNAS is finally working. This server uses proprietary RAID cards, and I'll show you them to you. So we have a RAID card and an LSI uh, HBA, so 6 gigabit per second. You really can't do anything with these. And when I was installing FreeNAS, it was alerting me as a XRT passes and some I was doing some searches and people couldn't find it and I figured it out pull this out It's worth it going right there pull them out works fine. Now. I just need to get a probably an LSI uh, external SAS card and stuff like that so But here we go. So we got SATA then we have an additional Port don't know what that is. Let's look in the manual um Internal USB. And this is actually the thing, the South Bridge. It's pretty beefy. This is actually where the onboard RAID card goes. It's a, it's actually a proprietary compellent RAID card, and um, couldn't find any. So I'm not gonna really go into the compellent area. I'm trying to make this as a controller as more efficient. It only uses 105 watts for two CPUs. So we got two quad uh, NICs. These are management NICs for a gigabit. And these are two 10 gigabit IPC NICs for storage traffic. Um, got the built in iDRAC 7. It is not like the ordinary iDRAC 6, where it's actually just embedded. Um, let's move these to the side. And the server uses the same types of fans as regular servers. Um, I haven't seen any other issues with these things, but overall I'm pretty happy with the performance. Installed Ubuntu on this thing, it was screaming pretty fast, so couldn't complain. Um, let's spin this puppy around for you guys. And if you guys noticed, you got power plugs for uh, external things. If you want to put internal graphic card, you can plug it in there. I think the wattage is probably a couple watts maximum. So there is this. I'm pushing some buttons here. So you got 2750 watt power supplies. 80 plus platinum, so really efficient power supplies. 
Um, serial, VGA, USBs. I think you could put some extra 10 gig cards or um, fiber controllers, anything you name of. Um, inside here, got a cool little uh, management system for locking the cards. So you kind of swing back and forth. And then there's that view. So no drives whatsoever. Not even a DVD drive. So very, very minimum. Um, I've noticed there's a lot of different types of uh, technology in this compared to a regular server. I mean, you have some. Uh, Looks like an M.2. What is it? MX. Looks like an MX. Looks like if it's the name of it is. Um. Plugs. Yeah, I'm still learning about this server, so I mean, this is completely different. This is the first time ever getting one. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Um. This is actually the. External NIC. This is the same thing, kind of a setup that comes in like on the Art 805s. They got the external uh, NIC setups so with actually uh, its own, not an onboard dedicated one. It's more separated. So yeah. Other than that, oh, and this thing actually comes with warranty. <laughs> Oops, I avoided the warranty by getting rid of the, the free NIC. So. Um, this RA10 is for a project. I won't be going to much depth on that, but just the RA10 is what it is really considering. So, comparing sizes, same size as RA10, both sides, 2U, 2U, and there's like a little mesh screen behind that as you guys can see. So, yeah. Um, other than that, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for some new videos coming up recently, and uh, new projects. Thanks guys, see ya.